playoff action to bring you on this Tuesday evening. Hereford hosts Brackley, and it's Brackley who get us underway. Kick long down the right-hand side. Just bring it nicely under control. Look for a loop ball in behind for Unluvu to chase. He's going to just about keep this in and wins a corner early on. Good work down this uh, right-hand side. We saw how important the free kicks were um, in these. It's rams. taken quickly, and it's a shot, and it's just over the bar. He was taken quickly and well worked by Brackley. A bit off, gu off guard. They're expecting a long throw from Haynes, and they get it. Grimes tries to flick it on, and then it's flicked on again by Butlin. But uh, Danny Lewis is going to yeah. Brandon Hall this time. Up towards Butlin. Butlin will go up for it and gets the flick on, and he's sent Carl Finn in behind here. There's a retreating Black Brackley defender. Carl Finn will shoot, and it's only just over the bar. It landed on top of the uh, net. As Carl Finn cut in from the angle, it was a good flick on by Joey Butlin. Carl Finn cut in from the angle, as we've come to know from him now. Got onto his left boot, flicked it towards that near post, and it was only just over the bar. We'll have a look at that again. Here we go, composed himself as the Brackley defenders were re retreating, and he's hit the roof of the net. But we can but hope both teams come out with a slightly different game plan and attitude to the uh, second half. Shep Murrumbudsey gets past one, gets past two, gets his shot away, but just past the post. Brilliant picture of the moon. Testimony to cameraman who's got their eye on that one. As Bakar gets in behind here, and he's going to nearly get a chance. Twist back one way, it was well blocked. Bakar gets his shot away, but it's straight down the throat to the keeper. And that was a good chance for Hereford. Camwell to float it in. He's got the... Short run of Hodgkiss, chooses against that. Floated in, there's a lot on that. Owen Evans is going to try and keep that alive. It's going to fall to Bacar, and Bacar gets the goal! The goal that this game needed. Michael Bacar on his debut. He had a great chance before, but he's buried his second chance in this second half. And Michael Bacar, number 25, puts Hereford 1-0 up at home to Brackley. It was great work by Owen Evans to flick the ball back into the melting pot from a slightly overhit, or shall we now say, well-worked corner by Camwell. And Bakar gets in the right position to poke it home. And we're pretty faint, as Nluvu was running back with Haynes. Owen Evans set free by Bakar. He's going to have a shot, but it's a weak shot. And it's straight at Brackley keeper Danny Lewis. Owen Evans appeals that he was fouled in the build-up. We'll wait and see any developments on that. Just after the 60th minute, you'd think that Brackley will be thinking about a change now. 30 minutes left to play. Good footwork by Bacara on that left-hand side. Escapes the challenge. Feeds in Ryan Lloyd, who he's got for company. Back to Camwell from his strike against Kidderminster. About that distance, and it's Camwell again! He's done it again! <laughs> what a strike by Chris Camwell. About 25 yards out, this time on his right foot. That was exactly the same as the Kidderminster goal, but with the other foot, wasn't it? As Chris Camwell wheels away in celebration and they get the second goal that Hereford saying. needed for the security. Takes Camwell the touch takes the touch, spreads it, out, yeah. spreads it out of his feet and bends it into that far bottom corner. It's a great finish by Chris Camwell. Brackley come away with it. York's hopeful ball in behind, but as ever, Jamie Grimes is there. Flicks it on. Owen Evans now. Meant to run at. Butlin's going to come away with it, but he's offside. And instead, we're going to come back for the Owen Evans free kick. How do you fancy your chances, Chris? He goes again. Oh, and it's so close. It hit the stanchion of the net. Chris Camwell. He will hit him. <laughs> he's definitely got his shooting boots in, hasn't he? Um, he's gone close again. The moment, the moment players. Definitely. As uh, Grimes loses his first header of the match, and it's going to fall for Matt Lowe to strike, but it's deflected up over the bar. And it was actually great covering work by Grimes. He didn't quite win the first header, but he got back and made sure he got the block in. And Bratley come again, and Ryan Lloyd's going to have to snuff out the danger as the game's certainly opening up. Camwell loses the ball there in centre field. Going to be a shot from distance, and it's straight at Brandon Hall, and he only just manages to get that away. It's a shot by Ethan Coleman. And Brandon Hall almost tried to punch it clear. There was a bit of a dip and a swerve on it. We'll see it again. 
Ethan Coleman lined it up on the half volley. Shot and Brandon Hall just didn't quite get that right. And, and man of the match goes to number six, Jamie Grimes. There he is. And I can certainly have no arguments about that. Selected by our match sponsors, Dawleys. And we thank you very much for your support. But I think they've picked very well. Yeah, there's a very lively front three for for Brackley all that, all evening. And um, once again, Grimes has been e more than equal to the match. McQuilkin flicks it in. It's a good delivery and it's just past the post. Joey Butlin angles his header and that really would have topped off the evening. Uh, it's, uh, the high press from uh, Hereford is avoided by Brackley and they get it out on that right-hand side. Ryan Lloyd's with it. It's a good cross, but Brandon Hulse got that marshalled straight at him. Brandon Hall kicks long. And the referee signals that's the end of the game. It's finished here. Hereford 2, Brackley Town 0. And an impressive second half performance by Hereford gets them the 2-0 win. A first half that let's um, let's say we can't write home about Easily too much. Easily forgettable. Easily forgettable as uh, Hereford kicked into gear in the second half. And it was uh, Michael Bacare who uh, got on the end of a well-worked corner. Um, it was flicked towards the back post and it was brilliant work by Owen Evans to keep it alive. And Bacare found himself in the right position to poke that home and give Hereford the lead. It was then uh, Chris Camwell with another great strike to add to his collection on the 65th minute. He found the ball out on the left-hand side. One touch to t get it out of his feet and another touch to find the bottom corner. Brilliant finish by Camwell. And that was 2-0 and a solid defensive display yet again by Hereford.